Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another cooking video, except today I'm going to make Dominican food. Finally, I haven't made one of these videos in a very long time. And we're actually going to cook the national dish, la bandera, which is arroz, habichuela y carne. It stands for rice, beans, and any choice of your meat. And for those of you that don't know, la bandera actually stands for the flag. Like literally, it's the flag and it's our dish. So yeah, I actually made this dish two years ago on my channel. But that was a time where I was learning how to cook, you know, I had no idea what I was doing and I kind of threw it together and it just came out good, like miraculously it was good. But since then I've grown a lot in the kitchen, I'm much more confident. The recipe hasn't really changed because it's the way my mom taught me. There's nothing that I would change about my mom's cooking, like her food is just the best and I miss it so much. But that's enough talking, let's go and make this dish. Okay, so these are all my ingredients laid out. And I just put them all together so that I don't have to keep reaching each time. I'm going to be using some chicken thighs here and some chicken drumsticks because these are my favorite parts of the chicken. And this might look a little bit overwhelming, but we season our food over here, okay? I wanted to show you that I'm not using canned beans this time around. I actually prepped my own beans and I did this the night before. I took some small red beans and I dumped these in a bowl. And then I submerge my beans in water and I let this rest overnight and put aluminum foil over it so that my beans can get soft. And the next day I dump these in a bowl with some garlic to infuse it and I added some more water and I let these boil for like an hour or two until my beans were soft. Feel free to use canned beans, but the reason I'm doing this now is because this is how my mom did it. And also, I want to avoid the preservatives, and fresh is always better. So if you have the time, um, I highly recommend doing this instead of doing canned. I also have my Dominican um, sazon that took some prepping. And I made this sazon like a month ago, and it was just in my freezer, and I put it down to my fridge when I needed it. And it thawed out. This is how I made this sazon. For my ingredients, I did red bell pepper, green onions, red onions, and some garlic. I added all my ingredients to my blender and I blended this all up with some white cooking wine. Later, I added some cabanel peppers and some cilantro. Let's start by prepping this chicken. I think I'm gonna just do two pieces and then maybe two of these because it's only me. Like I'm only cooking for myself this time around. So the remaining chicken, I decided to put in teapot bags. I'm about to put these in the fridge and freeze it. And I'm just going to clean this up, take the little hairs out, and the excess skin. Alright, so I cleaned my chicken up just enough that it has a little bit of skin left because the skin actually leaves it with good flavor, but I didn't want excess skin on it, so I removed some of it, most of it. Now I'm about to wash my chicken, and I like to wash my chicken with vinegar, just some white vinegar, and I'm just going to put this under the faucet and rub it all together and clean it up. Okay, I washed and rinsed my chicken and the skin actually came out of the thigh, which, whatever, I'm not mad. <laughs> Let's season this up. I'm gonna start with some arrobo. 
orégano. Black pepper. Sazón culan priachote. Two tablespoons of my Dominican sazón. Or maybe two and a half. This is optional, but I'm gonna do some soy sauce. And we're just gonna blend this together. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and mash some garlic and put it inside my chicken, because I am obsessed with garlic. I think my garlic is soft enough. I'm gonna scoop it. Our chicken is seasoned. I do recommend that you leave it for like an hour or two in the fridge so that it marinates. Even overnight, it's better. But I'm way too hungry. We're just gonna cook this now. I'm gonna do this pot. Add my vegetable oil. So I just added a little bit of brown sugar to my hot oil. This is what's gonna give the chicken a little bit of color. And I'm just waiting till it browns. Right now I'm just letting the chicken brown on both sides and then I'm going to add some water and leave it to simmer on low fire. And both sides are nice and brown. Okay. I'm going to take the remaining water and I'm going to add more water to this. And now I'm just going to pour it over. As you can see, the chicken is simmering in its juices. I'm going to put a lid over it and I'm just going to let this cook through in low heat. I put it to the five setting just to give me enough time to cook the rice and the beans. I'm going to start off with some vegetable oil. To my vegetable oil, I'm going to add this random piece of onion. Some garlic, a little bit of cilantro, Dominican sazon. Now I'm gonna add my beans. This is how my beans are looking. I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some Maggi Q. This is the Nor brand. It doesn't really matter what brand you use. And I'm just gonna cut off a little less than half. Just add this. Also gonna add some black pepper and the rest water. Just gonna mix this together. Now that my beans are simmering, I'm gonna put a lid over it. And if my beans dry out, I'm just gonna add water and keep adding this Maggie cube to salt it again. Now let's get started on our rice. I grabbed a small pot and I'm just gonna add some vegetable oil. Now that our oil is hot, I'm gonna add our remaining garlic. Now that my garlic is brown, I'm gonna add 
one and a half cups of water or two cups of water. Before this starts boiling, I'm gonna add some salt to taste. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my pantry. Welcome to my pantry. I'm gonna scoop out some rice. And since I did one and a half cups of water, I'm gonna do one cup of rice because I don't know why, but this rice just drinks my water. Normally I would do like one cup of rice, one cup of water, but this rice is different. Okay, let's wash it. I'm gonna rinse this until the water is transparent and I can see my hands through it. Okay, I rinsed it four times and you can see my hands through it. I think it's clean enough, I'm just gonna rinse it out. Okay, I'm just going to let this boil on high heat until the water dries out, or most of the water dries out. Okay, so my rice is mostly dried out. I set the fire to a very low setting, and I'm going to put a lid over it. And I'm going to leave it here until it cooks fully, but I'm going to flip it halfway. Now that we wait so everything cooks, I made a mess <laughs> preparing everything, so... I'm gonna just clean this up while stuff cooks and this is the trick to cooking. You have to clean as you go, but since I'm filming that becomes a little bit harder, so I'm gonna get that done now. I cleaned up my area. I'm gonna chop these up later and put them on top of my chicken. My dishes are clean. I'm gonna check on my beans. And they are pretty dried out. What a pretty color. Some water. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. And I'm also gonna fish out the cilantro that I used earlier. And the onion too. I'm going to add some red and green bell peppers with some onions. This is optional, but I just like the aesthetic of it. I'm also going to do some cilantro on top, just for some fresh flavor. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put a lid on it until my rice is done. My rice is ready and it is the perfect texture. I finally figured it out. One cup of rice and one and a half cup of water. This is the softest I've ever made my rice and this is how I like it. Not too grainy and not too pasty. Okay. This is the end result. I served up my plate and I am so excited to eat this. It looks so good. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh, I love rice and beans. 
try this chicken. Mm hmm. Ooh, good. This is my favorite Dominican dish. Besides pica pollo. Actually, pica pollo is my favorite. And then this. I'm gonna finish eating my food and I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys try this recipe, let me know in the comments and tell me how it goes. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.